Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another video here on this uh, console RPG programming series. So uh, we'll just keep working at it. Um, we made our game class, we made our functions class, um, and just close down main. There we go. Well, we actually got this to work. So what I was thinking today is we're going to just work on the character class because it's fun. So we'll add a character class. This is our own class for the dude, the actual dude we're going to be. So we have our character H. I always have my H files on this side. So I can just quickly work on them and always main like this. Just like that, keep everything ordered, know what's going on. Just like that. So we have our character. Uh, and we're gonna need a lot of accessors and modifiers. It's fun making console RPGs because it's a simple way to just get into game development you know I mean it's not that different from making a visual game it's just that uh, you program everything you need to program here you don't have to program the visual part uh, which isn't that hard it's just there to represent all the stuff that's going on under the hood that's what all the visuals are right um, but yeah uh, let's get s some stuff in here so what we need we need a we don't need a name right we just have our dude or Nah, we don't need a name. Or maybe we do. Just a second here. Uh, I gotta fix all the includes as well because we got string. If we do this, include uh, character. What we could do, if we have name, we could just include name here instead. Uh, so remember, you want to keep your includes clean. So if you're including string here and you're including this whole file in here, you might as well just take away string from this and include it through here. So you don't want to have multiple includes and it just screws stuff up. So it's not good. Same thing with this. Well, we might not need that in character, actually. Yeah, we can make sure game prints out everything. Um, but yeah, we got all our stuff. And let's just start with a string name. Okay, and then let's go into int level, int exp. Okay, we might need a... X position, Y position. We'll do double for that. Okay, Y position. Uh, we have EXP, that stuff. And then we'll have all the... Actually, these are the basic things. Whoops. Uh, these are like the base things. And then you have all your, all your other stuff down here. So... All the most important stuff under the hood stuff, and HP, HP, Max. I've done these before. That's why I know <laughs> what you need and stuff. But let's just stay here. Let's do a stamina as well, so we can't move forever without resting, and we can level up our, all this stuff. And what we're gonna need is um, damage, min. And damage max. Okay, so we can randomize between them in order to defense. And defense to reduce damage and to dodge. Actually, yeah. We'll stick with that. Now we can add more stuff later. And then accessory modifiers, we're going to have to do that for every one of these. Um, of course, and that takes time. So we'll just wait with that. We're going to have to initialize all of these and just make sure they're all initialized to uh, whatever they have to be initialized to so I think name should be initialized to none just so we know that we can compare that in case we make a new character uh, we'll make level into one of course exp zero. Oh, we need an exp next as well next so EXP is how much you have EXP for the next level, and you, if they're the same, they will go up a level. So EXP next equals a zero right now as well. We'll we'll fix that. We'll make a level up class. Uh, we'll we'll do all this. We'll have a function called so when you start the game. Uh, all this will be set to whatever it has to be set to. So defense zero, level zero as well just now. And just empty, just like that. Um, then we're good, actually. Then we're good. Why are you complaining? 
That's not an identifier. Why are you complaining? Why are you complaining? Will this complain? Uh, oh, I think it's, yeah, it's because of the namespace. Yep, namespace. Well, that will do fine. We don't need the namespace. We do not need the namespace in this game. We won't use namespace since we have a lot of things included here. We don't need to use namespace. So how about we just keep going from there. So I'm just going to make all these accesses and modifiers. I'm going to make sure the videos don't get too long because that wouldn't be too good. So yeah, let's make some accessors. Now I'm going to show you a cool way to make accessors. Something I like. If you're trying to access a a string, for example, that is already here, it exists, you can return it as a reference, constant reference. So const um, string reference and get name const. And this way you save a bunch of of stuff. Like and you can make it inline as well. Just straight up make it as efficient as possible, okay? Always keep optimization in mind. Even if it's a text-based game, just always think about optimization. Always make sure all your stuff are uh, it just makes sense, you know? Like this doesn't make sense to pass it by value if you already have the variable and, and stuff like that. Return value, you know? Uh, return a copy. Why not just return the reference to it as a constant and make it inline because it's a small function and then make it constant because we're not going to change anything within the function. So there we go. And then we just say return this name. Okay, good. There we go. There we go. Now we're just going to make a bunch of these for everything. And for integer get level uh, yeah okay and we'll just do that and we'll make some for these doubles as well double get x post get x okay get y so this is tedious, this is tedious of course, and I understand, but uh, yeah, we have to do it, we have to do it. EXP, EXP next, EXP, mm. EXP next, so I'm just going to do this, and thank God for copy paste, HP, HP max. HP, HP, max. Okay, still going pretty quickly. Stamina, damage min. All right. Damage minimum. Actually, we could just make one function get damage, but uh, and it returns a random value between them. But we can do that as well later. It's always good to have these if you ever need them. So we're soon done. We just need defense. Sorry about that. So this is a really good way to make your getters and setters. Okay, just make sure they're always nice and clean. Everything makes sense. Everything is here. Don't return constant values like this and don't try to make constant values into uh, references and stuff like that just you know, normal variables you can return them like this no problems if you're returning a number like 20 just straight up return 20 do not return a const int reference because this will not work okay it needs an like a, a real variable that it can relate to and become an alias of alias so there you go uh, but yeah I won't be too tutorially here these are the accessors, and yeah, yeah, we can make the modifiers later. Accessors are more important right now. Um, let's make a function initialize. Oh, wait, initialize. Okay, and then we'll say int level. 
So the thing is that Oh, whoops, void initialize, int level. So depending on the level, we're going to initialize the character. Okay, it depends on the level what, how the character is going to be initialized. I think that's a good idea. I think we can do that. There we go. And we'll just make sure that he'll be, or it, or he, or it, or she, or whatever, will be initialized. So. Um, we're just gonna have to do this, okay? And we'll initialize the character name. So, hmm. Let's see. In game, we have to make sure we get a name in as well. Uh, okay, name. And and just do that. Hope this works now. Yep. So we'll get a name. And we'll do this. If you have two, like if you have a parameter with the same name as your member variable here, you need to use this. Okay. So it knows which name becomes which name. You know, otherwise it'll just be confused. So actually using this everywhere is a good idea. You know, it's not a bad idea. It, it might seem tedious. And why do you do it? Well, it's easier to read. Like sometimes when you have a lot of variables and you know what's going on in a function, you know everywhere there is a this, you know a member function or member variable is being changed. So it's a good idea. Do that. Let's say 100 will be the next. And I know we put in level here. Let's say level then. EXP0. EXP next equals level times, I don't know, we'll make a cool algorithm for that later. Let's just say current HP 10, 10, stamina 10, which mean 2, 4, defense 1. Okay, let's just say that, just for now, just for the funds of it. Um, we'll figure all that out later. Then the modifiers as well. Well, we made our character class, which is a good thing. Now, next time we're just going to make some actual I think we're just gonna go in in game here in game and actually make some stuff some stuff happen good god oh good god forgot I took away namespace but we'll work without namespace I mean I, I like working without namespace I don't really like using it because then I can see what I'm using where it's a little easier to like read and stuff. Like I know STD C out is part of STD. I'm using it and stuff like that. Some people think it's stupid. I don't know. I like it. I like not using it. Um, whoops. All right. Well, there we go. That's it for right now. Uh, I'll keep going in the next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.